Celtics looking for a dozen in a row today. They are the walking wounded. Al Horford back after missing two games with a concussion. Kyrie Irving not back after suffering what was called a minor facial fracture. It's only minor when it's not happening to your face. Celtics with those guys on and off the floor, especially with Irving, have been less efficient, as you might expect. But they still have tons of weapons to go to as they're taking on a Raptors team that's playing some pretty decent basketball and come in having won a couple in a row. Celtics win streak a little bit longer than that. Here's Horford. Ooh, had the concussion against his old team, Atlanta. Now is back, feeling good, and so were the Seas in search of a dozen in a row. Man, they just have such a good young team. This kid, Jason Tatum, is going to be outstanding. Tight game, two minutes to go. Celtics by one, a little breathing room, courtesy of Horford, who had 21. Time is running out on the Raptors. It's a three-point game with a buck 30 to go. Wow. Hey, you know they don't have Hayward. They're going to get Kyrie back any day now. They've got veteran leadership and a lot of young pieces. Last opportunity there for Toronto goes awry. That could have put them ahead. Instead, Horford's 21, Tatum's 13 and 7. Ooh, hey, it's about time somebody else got clocked except for the Celtics, right? No question about it. Van Vliet took it on the chin, literally there. Another opportunity for the Raptors. It's off the mark, and it's a dozen in a row for the 17 times NBA champion.